28, so like, it's 1 through 12 and then 28. Unfortunately, we don't use the Corrupt Bone Charm, so that kind of sucks, but still. Watch out. What? Ha! This head of yours is worth its weight in silver. What for my sake of death? Yeah! Damn it! We teleported on top of his body and he... And he woke up. Let me start from our last quick save. Oh wait, there we go. Dang, we were so close. So close, now I gotta do all that over again. Okay, read that. That's Dr. Galvani. Alright, we gotta make sure not to step on this guy. This is what I needed. Oh, there's the authorization code. Cool. Is this Galvani? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... Two... Eight... Birdie the Bird. I caught Birdie as we came to call him on one of those ill-fated expeditions to Pandasia, which I and a few others attempted from time to time to follow in the gr footsteps of the great Sokolov. The birds assembled in great flock and nest in cliff sides. He had flown too close to our ship, and so one of the sailors snared him with a well-thrown net, and we managed to cage him. He was the first of his species to reach the Gristolian shores. He caused quite a store in popular imagination when I first displayed him. I did a circuit of public lectures in Pandasian fauna, and each theater was packed with people hoping for a glimpse of my little bird. I heard from some friends that Bertie even featured in some children's literature with fanciful illustrations. After a time, Bertie grew quite tame. He would even accept grapes from my hand. Sadly, he died after just a few short years. But he inspired a passion for Pandasian birds, egg collecting, and taxidermy. I had him stuffed, and occasionally I charge a small fee to allow visitors to see him. He will always hold a special place in my heart. Yeah, just delightful. Dude, all of the freaking treasure. Holy shit. Is that all? Wait, was that that mission? Rags or riches? All right. 315 coin in my name and today I opened my own locker box in the bank. Three cocktails later, it was revealed that he said the locker box is next to journalists and contains a precious gemstone. Get me the gemstone. Alright, three, five, six, as I'm guessing what the passcode is. I 
famous journalist. I think this guy is the famous journalist, right? Oh, this would have been a good way to turn it off. But we already rewired it, so it's fine. Okay, so what the hell is the password then? It should be in here, right? When I first came to Kanarka, I only had. Oh, it's 315. Dang it! Oh, you died the wrong number! I love how the creepy death robots. There it is. Are like prop. They're just shouting propaganda like idly. It's really quite weird, actually, and very, very creepy. All right, so th that means we've done every con contract for this area. So now all we have to do is can follow along with the main quest. Um, while also remaining completely completely unseen. That's also the key part. We need to really remain completely unseen. Okay. Let's go to the second floor, security and admin. A warn holder the crown. Security off. So we we have to note to Ensmelda. Chief of Security has a list of current authorized codes that they can be used to gain access to restricted areas within the bank, among other things. Yeah, okay, so we already... The authorization code to access security and administration floor is B15D. Hey, wake up. I need you to let me in. Yeah. Outsider's eyes. If Pena caught me sleeping on the job, he'd make me run the shock line. So... <clears throat> May I have the code, please? It's B15D. So are we gonna get seen for this? That seems weird. Okay, okay. Come on in. I feel like this uh, this means I we're gonna get she, discovered. Tell Chief Pena about my attention maps. Alright. So he's locked into his area, which is fine. You know, we actually could have gone through there, it looks like, somehow. I don't really know how. No way! Oh, okay, that's what we need to do. Because he's gonna see us when we walk through if we don't. Uh, looks like this is the one. Okay, well now we know. Oh, crap. Hmm. So can we... This definitely has to be how we get through, right? Maybe not. Maybe we do have to talk to the guy. Very curious.
Okay, so I think we actually have to talk to the guy. That sucks. Let's do an auto save right in front of the door. Hey, wake up. Oh, I need look to at get him. Me in. He's like, oh, just shit. <laughs> Outsider's eyes. If Pena caught me sleeping on the job, he'd make me run the shock line. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? It's B15D. Now let me in. So we just can't let okay, him see okay. us, I guess? Come on in. We'll see. We're, we're going to test it out. You didn't tell Chief Pena about my attention lapse. Okay. Inner atrium. Vault control room. Okay, so that's where we need to be going. Holy shit. Let's make sure these guys never I power on. Things. Why are they smiling? They really are they smiling? They don't look like they're smiling. I don't know. If there's like a bone charm that's supposed to allow us to get through those. Let's. I should show the new guard around later. I bet she never saw anything like that Jindosh bolt back in Morley. This makes things much simpler. <laughs> oh, another hook mine, nice. The fan in here that's worth some money. Whale oil. Some more money. Dude, we're getting so much money. Right, let's see if this works. I think it I think it should work. No, so close. Oh, we ran out of mana right at the end. A little closer. And let it regen fully. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is not what we meant to do. Don't wake her up. That would be bad. 
Just gonna look around this room for anything that we can loot. Doesn't look like there is anything. A little bit of food over here, but that's it. Is there another one of these things in here? It sounded like there was, but I don't think there actually is. Okay, nice. Just just the vault control center. Cool. Hey, we did it! There's even this rat liquor, this plagued spirit. It's in here as well. It's everywhere. Okay, so what is this gonna do? Secure Director's Office Archives. Why is the vault moving? What's going on? Oh, actually, let's go from the Director's Office. That seems easier. Stay right there. Security wants a word with you. Security to the vault control room. Security to vault control. Please investigate suspicious activity. Damn it, dude. Huh. We can't press it more than once. I believe. Why is the vault moving? What's going on? This means we need to... Security wants a war. Security to the vault. Control. Security to vault control. Please investigate suspicious activity. Security to the vault. Repeat. Security to the vault. Robbery in progress. Attention. Robbery in progress. Armed personnel are needed in the archives. Protect the vault. So is there any way to do this without? No, we... I want to complete that contract so we can't be seen. There has to be a way to do this without doing that. You want to load this save game. Any unsaved progress will be lost. There has to be a way to get around it. There has to be. Basically, this guy just cannot wake up. There has to be another way to get in there. Maybe that giant wheel? Let's think, let's look. 
Circumvent offenses state the authorization code. Is that the, really the only way? So maybe then we have to go... Maybe we have to go get the... Get down to the vault before people see us? That just seems weird. That seems like there's... Or maybe we didn't do it, something else we were supposed to at some point. Alright, let's try running through this again without... And like running straight to the thing after pressing the button. Hey, wake up. Let's try I that. I need you to let me in. Yeah. Outsider's eyes. In pin you call me sleep on the job. He'd make me run the shock line. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? It's B15D. Now let me in. Okay, okay. Come on in. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Chief Pena about my attention maps. It's auto saving it here. We want to see if this makes us lose the. It does. I know there's another way for us to make him oblivious? Besides harming him? Please tell me this auto save auto save before we jumped in here. Dang it, dude. I, don't, I really don't know. I guess we're just going to run through it like we did last time. Click it and try and get to the vault as soon as we can before we're seen. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's just double check, like, make sure there's no wires of his that he, we can cut or something. Make it so he can't use his loudspeaker? Yeah, no, there's, it, the loudspeaker's not even wired into things. Ah. Uh, okay. 